Virgil onto Bakayoko. With some ball rolls, nice. Valde, nice with pace. Rapid. Ooh, he's not pressing me, and the goal! Beautiful right foot finish! What am I you doing? Yeah, yeah, it's me! Newbie with a player review on Night of All Day. He's super fast, but he's only 83 rated, so let's see if this guy can play. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing fine, staying safe and healthy during this quarantine period, and enjoying the videos. Um, I have just opened my Wicked League rewards and I've packed myself 83 Kaita Ball Day. Maybe because I'm bald, I don't know, but it's never a messy for me. So let's take a look at this player. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and let's see if we can make it to 250 subs. All right, let's take a look. When we take a look at his stats, we see high low work rate, which is excellent for a striker. Four star, four star is also really good, especially for an 83 rated card. His pace is exceptional. Acceleration 95, sprint speed 94. Of course, we knew that he was super fast from his storyline card, but now he has a more central position on the pitch. When we take a look at his dribbling, we see agility 85, ball control 90 and dribbling 88, which are really good stats. Uh, balance 82, reactions 80 and composure 83 are a little bit lower, but if we take the combination 94 pace and 88 dribbling, there are no other 83 cards out there who have that. Maybe De Lofeo, he is also super fast with high dribbling, but he cannot shoot. So when we look at shooting, we see 82 attacking positioning, 83 finishing and 83 shot power, which is okay. It's not great. It's not that good. So we will definitely have to boost that shooting, that finishing, probably with a sniper cam style and maybe a dead eye cam style. We'll get into that in a little second. His passing is absolutely horrendous. 80 short pass is the highest and that is okay. Vision 76, so those two are the most relevant ones. Crossing curve, free kick and long pass. Well, long pass 67, that's just horrible. Also, his physical isn't that great. Jumping 70, stamina 75, strength 79 and aggression 57. So he's not that strong. Basically, the only two things that this card has going for him is the pace and the dribbling. But I mean, if you look at it, it's, a, it's an 83 card. So what do you expect? So is he the best 83 card out there? Not sure. I mean, in terms of pace, you have one card who is faster. That is Adama Traore. His 83 card has like absolute uh, monstrous 98 uh, pace and 87 dribbling, but his shooting uh, sucks big time. Then there is the Mateus Cunha card from the Bundesliga SPC. He has 85 pace, which is lower, but he has 86 shooting which is absolutely fantastic for an 83 rated card. And that card also has 89 dribbling. So I think that might be the best 83 card there is at the moment. And in the French league, you have a uh, player of the month, Osiman. He has 90 pace, 84 shooting and 81 dribbling. But if you haven't done that player, it was early in the game, then this card might be for your league one objectives. With this card, you can get strong links to Shapeshifter's Ben Yedder, but that card is 1.9 million. So if you can afford Ben Yedder 1.9 million, you can probably afford Mbappe as well, you know. Uh, another option is to link him with Bakayoko. He just got that objective. I made a video about it. Link is in the description if you want to check it out. But that Bakayoko card is also really sick, so you can uh, use that to strong link him to Bode. So in terms of cam styles, I think there's two options. You can either put a sniper on him or a dead eye. The dead eye cam style will boost his attacking positioning to 97, his finishing to 98 and the shot power to 93. Also the short pass will be 90 and the division will be 86. So that's a nice boost for your shooting and passing. If you take the sniper cam, you will get 87 position, which isn't the best. You will get 98 finishing, which is great, but it will also boost up his agility to uh, 95, balance 87, reactions 85, ball control 85, dribbling 98 and composure 88. So if you play him really as a finisher, then you might want to use the dead eye. 
because then you're gonna take a lot of shots, so you need that finishing uh, to be 98. If you're gonna use him as a speed dribbler, yeah, sure, the, the sniper camp style, yeah. And that one will be the one for you. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of this player? I'm really curious to see if he can play at all in this game, so let's play a few games and find out. Best. Ball day. He's got the ball. Skill moves. Nice rainbow flake. Oh, barely got through. Still got the ball. Bakayoko. Ball day. Onto Bakayoko. Why did I shoot with Bakayoko? Stoichkov. Ball day. Ooh, beautiful finish. Whoa, four minutes. I know this guy has 94 pace, but Jesus, four minutes to score your first goal. What a legend. Nice. Get him. Uh, kick of glitch. Move your fat fucking ass. Bakayoko onto Balde. Hit the moves. This guy is so agile. Look at this. Oh. Can't defend me, can't stop me. Ooh, he can. Boateng. Martinez puts the ball onto Balde. Can he make the magic happen? Some skill moves. Ah, he's lacking that strength. Could not hold the possession. Virgil onto Bakayoko. Got some ball rolls. Nice. Balde. Nice with pace. Rapid. Oh, he's not pressing me, and the goal, beautiful right foot finish, a little bit of finesse on there. This guy did not press me, and when I have ball day, you should not do that. Beautiful goal. Best. Onto Gattuso. Bakayoko. This is the ball, Martinez gets it back. Ooh, ball day with the space and the left foot finish, wow! 26 minutes in and this guy already has a hat trick. Talk about 94 pace and the guy's out. Oh man, again, a kickoff glitch through the center of my defenders. What the hell, man? Absolute fucking useless. Martinez on to best with the turn. Loses one player. Ball day. Heal the heal. Onto best. With the space, the shot. Ooh, that angle was difficult. He doesn't put everything in. If he go on to Martinez, Bakayoko. Gattuso puts it into Kaita. With the turn. Beautiful. Some space. Shot blocked. He should have shot with his left foot though. Martinez gets the ball. Puts it into Bode with the moves. Ooh, holds the ball, strength, nice, loses a defender, not a second one, too bad, great effort. Martinez gets the ball back, Catuso, Balde with another action, Ooh. Gattuso, Martinez, onto Stoichkov, heel to heel, some space, Ooh, left foot finish! What the hell, man? If Balde does not do it, I always have Stoichkov with that flaming left foot. Beautiful finish. Top bin. Love it. <clears throat> Balde read the play with the interception. Can he pass it off? <sighs> Horrible passing. Still gets the ball. Skill move. Ooh. Best picks it up. Bakayoko. Best. There we go. The pressure is on. And the shot. <sighs> nice. Almost similar to the one of Stoichkov, that left foot finish. That's why you need four or five star skill, weak foot. Martinez, onto Balde, Stoichkov, back to Balde. Can he lose a defender? He can, he lost one. And oh, two defenders, too difficult for this guy. Another one. Martinez, onto Bakayoko, Stoichkov. Balde with some space and ooh nice I don't know how I pulled that one off <laughs> yeah, I probably wow. thought I was going for the right foot but I mean it was a little bit jammy but hey get in my son Balde fourth goal of the day nicely done 
Defended. Oh, horrible defending. Douglish. Bruh. Ooh, unlucky. Alright, that's it. So I've played a few matches with this guy and for an 83 rated card, this guy is phenomenal. Obviously, he will never be in my starting squad or in my weekend league team because there are so many other strikers out there that are better. But for an 83 card, he is sick. I absolutely love his dribbling skills and his skill moves. They are so fluent. Also, he accelerates like a monster, so he's really difficult to defend. Weak points are his passing. His passing is horrible. Also, his lack of strength. This guy loses a lot of the possession because he just cannot hold the ball. Next to that, his shooting isn't always that great. I had a lot of shots off target rather than on target. So those three things are the main issues with this card. Overall, I will rate him a 7 out of 10. You can use him as a first owner in your French League objectives if you haven't backed Mbappé or grinded towards the OC man. Well, this was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this card and I will see you next time. Later!